think these are look at the way they jiggle. Nick, every time she moves, look at them big ass smokers. I don't do none of that. I be vibing. I just be tapping. I just be vibing. I don't smoke with them. Soul, I ain't in the street. I don't get No lie to be real Small business, I don't sell drugs To be honest, I'm pretty established We doing drug removal, selling seat moths That's the way that I'm making this cabbage I don't know nothing these people be talking Actually, we're gonna start off with this This is called This is by this guy named Man Talks now, we have a lot of people in here who struggle with porn, with a porn addiction. So, this video is titled, The One Thing No One Talks About When Quitting Porn. So, I was definitely interested to see this because I'm trying to understand what is it that people, uh, you know, not talk about when it comes down to quitting porn. So, let's go ahead and see what we got going on here. All right, team. Welcome back to the Man Talk Show. I am Connor Beaton. Today we're going to be talking about the one... DSG, y'all see what I mean? Y'all remember what I told y'all? How like we go without donations and then it's like the moment we start a reaction or something like that. It, it, they always do that. Y'all remember I told y'all and, and it never fails? Y'all see it now, right? For, for the people in here who knew, you see what I mean? It always happened the moment, I, the moment we uh, start a reaction. One thing that I haven't heard anybody talk about when it comes to why porn can be so addictive and why it is so hard to quit when you decide to stop watching it. I haven't seen one YouTuber, one psychologist. Mr. Nobody Known, thank you for the 12 months of whole year in DSG. Thank you, my nigga. Uh, Watson CJ said, uh, Daquan is 49 since he don't fuck with the Chiefs. I'm 49 years old because I don't fuck with the Chiefs. Right? One therapist, one coach talk about what I am about to talk about. Uh, and I have scoured, I've watched a lot of videos on this topic and this content. Before we dive into it, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to man it forward and share this video with somebody. That what the fuck is man it forward? What the hell? What, yo, bro. What the fuck is man it forward? That you know could use it, mean? could enjoy it. Um, so let's dive in, all right? Man it Porn has been one of those things for me that played a very large role in my life for a long time. I watched- I'm not gonna hold y'all, bro, on some dead real shit. If you have a porn addiction, get it together because there's no reason why other people fucking should have such a large role in your life. Like on some real shit. This ain't even like, I'm not joking or anything. My nigga, you mean to tell me other people fucking- on camera, had such a large role in your life. A lot of y'all niggas, what the fuck, bro? Wh what you got going on in your life to where porn plays such a large role? Watched a lot of it when I was younger, and when I did I watched a lot of porn when I was a teenager, and at the end of the day, it still never had a hold on my life. As a teenager, I was out there fucking, and I was out there watching porn, but it never played a large role in my life at all. Hey yo, Heatley kills. I see you got the badge, right? Yo, how you how you have a verified badge showing your uh in the when you in the chat? Cause when I comment, it don't it don't do it. I don't know how that happens. There's no fucking way in my own chat it says I'm a 35 month subscriber. Who the hell gifted me a sub? Who the hell gifted me a sub? Cause you I need a sub to my own fucking channel, dead ass decided that I wanted to stop watching it, it literally took me years to let go of it. And I couldn't figure out why. That's crazy. That's crazy. Like to be like to years to let it go. Like porn. Bro, I could see you gotta change the identity in the chat. Okay, I don't know how to do that. I can really see if it's something like sex, a sex addiction. Like, even crack, obviously, because, like, crack, you know the effect that it has on you. But, like, yo, addicted to watching other people fuck? Like, bro, all you got to do is just not watch people fuck. I don't, I don't know. Maybe I just don't get it. I just. I... And so I spent years um, researching what the impacts of porn are on the brain, on the body, um, you know, how it's similar, can be similar to, uh, you know, any other addictive behavior. And I've since worked with a ton of men over the years. I've been working with guys. Dirty Dan Lay said, porn ain't that good. Sheesh. Niggas really need to get out and experience like, nah, porn is, 
Bro, I'm not going to sit there and fake it. When I was a teenager watching porn and shit like that, it was like that. And then even when I got older, nigga, I can't even say it ain't like that. Nah, it's some porn out there. Definitely like the uh, the amateur. Because like, you know what I'm saying? Did you get to see that girl actually get wet? Like, them other wild ass joints, you know what I'm saying? Where the bitch pussy dries hell. All right. But like, nah. Nah, I'm not going to hold you. Like that amateur porn, it definitely be hidden. So, you know what I'm saying? I can't even sit there and fake that. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna lie to y'all. Guys specifically for the last decade. But I've worked with a ton of men who had relatively the same issue, right? They were watching Nigga said Kanye has a porn addiction. How do you know that? Watching porn, maybe they didn't really have an issue with it. You know, they just watched it once in a while. But when they Debo said he turned eighteen last week and he's really trying to stop watching the shit. So Debo, uh well the first thing is this, right? Have an accountability partner. Like I said, bro, look, open up to your friends and tell them. You, if you can if you can be open in this uh, chat, be open with your friends. Have an accountability partner. Have, put a lock on your phone as far as uh and and uh and whatever uh whatever you have whatever you whatever devices you have that have um access to the internet, uh get an accountability partner and block all those sites with a password and give it I mean and only have your accountability partner have that password. As far as you can't know it. Like you can't be the person, ask your accountability partner, put in a random password and only they know it. Or if you genuinely want to stop watching porn altogether, I would suggest you have that accountability partner, make up a random password and throw it away. Just make up a random password on the spot right there. That means it's done for life. I'm talking about, bro, while you there, just have them make up some random ass shit. Boom, you're done for life. You can't ever access it again. So try that. Offman said, I got to stop watching that shit. I accidentally watched the Transformers corn. You didn't accidentally watch it because you finished it. See, and the thing is, I can see it. You said, yo, man, I got hit with a Transformer joint. You know what I'm saying? That's different. Nah, bro, you watched it. See, the thing is, bro, I don't, I don't sit there and lie to y'all. Offman, you ain't got to come in here and lie. You got to learn to be a real nigga. Bro, at the end of the day, I'm a real nigga, bro. When I was on um Twitter, I'm watching this girl. I'm talking about slurp this nigga down. Bitch was going crazy. And then when he starts sucking hers, I, I turned it off. But it was like, yo, I ain't know, but I still watched it. And yeah, you know what I'm saying? I ain't going to act like she wasn't doing her thing. Or he, you know, or like, niggas, whatever they want to be identified as, but it is what it is. But y'all niggas just want to lie about it. You feel me? I ain't going to sit there and lie. Bitch was going, bro. Because think about it. All of these bitches all the time, what they always say. Oh, women know how to eat pussy better because they got one. You don't think that shit worked the same the other way around? You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, bro, it is what it is. But, yo, you ain't got something to lie about it all, man. You watch that shit, bro. You know you did, bro. Just like um Velma. I'm not Velma. Starfire and uh, motherfucking uh, uh, Raven. Yeah, even when Raven pulled out her dick. It was what it was, nigga. Nigga, it was what it was, bro. It was like, fuck it. Just like the vampire joint. Y'all seen that too, nigga? It is what it is, bro. You start looking up the animated shit next to, you know, dicks pop out. And you just like, damn, bro, what the fuck? Hey, y'all niggas just gonna lie about it. I just keep it real. That's the difference, bro. You gotta learn to start being real with yourself, nigga. You know damn well what the fuck you watched. Why are you lying about it? Plain and simple, bro. They went to quit watching porn. They couldn't, or they felt like it was very challenging. Now, one of the things that's obviously harder. I'm sorry, bro. That shit was so hard to say with a straight face, bro. I'm not cold, John. Bro, what the fuck? It's what the fuck, yo, dog. <laughs> That shit was so hard to stay with, stay with a straight face. Nah, but no bullshit though, bruh. Nah, because look, anybody who know about the old cartoon website, when they used to just have, uh, it was like called Tram Paran, not Tran, Tram Paran or something like that. It was whatever that site was called, and they had all the cartoon porn. You know what I'm saying? And then it's like, they go from like regular porn to like these uh girls with like huge ass dicks. And it's like, what the fuck is this? I think it's crazy. Where did this we come from? We all know that Raven and Starfire video. We all know that one. And, and and then a lot of niggas know about that vampire shit. Niggas just like to lie about it, bruh. Dog, y'all know exactly the shit. I'm, yo, bruh, the thing is, a lot of y'all niggas gonna try to act like y'all don't know. Fake, lie right now. Lie right now. Lie right now. Act like y'all don't know it. Bro, the joint where the bitch did this, you know the little uh, the little thing that you she did that shit, and then the bitch was sucking her off. Lie right now, you ain't see it. Lie right now, act like you ain't see it. Y'all niggas gonna lie. Y'all seen it. That's what I'm saying. Like, bro, as long as you're a real nigga, you can be. You can just be real and say it, bro. It is what it is, nigga. You gonna sit there and act like you ain't seen it, bro? Hell, what it is, nigga, bro.
Y'all seen that joint, bro? The bitch over there doing that shit, and then a huge ass dick just the bitch just throwing the joint, bro. Used to think that watching porn was okay as long as you were still interacting with women. Took really taking a step back and realizing that shit has adverse effects on the mental. It definitely does. So niggas need to stop watching it. But I'm just saying, we ain't gonna act like we ain't watch it. You feel me? It is what it is. Like I'm saying, bro. Like niggas just got letter. You're wildin'. She said she want to try that. You wildin'. If you seen, oh, you seen it, letter? Did you see what we even talking about? To know it, them big ass slides you wearing. I, yo, crunching on your balls, my nigga. My feet about big as hell, nigga. Do, do you see how big this motherfucker is? Yes, nigga. I have big ass feet. It is what it is, nigga. I don't give a fuck. I um about the the Velma and Miss Incredible. You know about it, but you ain't seen it. Yeah, I, oh, oh, you a girl, so I believe that. I believe that. Only because you a girl, Blossom. That's the only reason why I believe that. I was on new grounds every morning when I was out for summer break, but I still had an abundant social life during that time. What the fuck is new grounds? Is that some like, uh, yo, shiny dwarf as a, as a dwarf, do you watch a lot of dwarf porn or like regular shit? Cause like, you know how it is? It's like, like other, uh, us, us niggas, we be like wanting to knock down a dwarf and shit like that. And then I ain't got no problem watching a little dwarf get knocked down. Definitely the little Tanya joint. You feel me? That we had on Instagram a lot at one time. But like as a as the dwarf yourself, do you be like, yeah, I want to watch a little dwarf get, you know what I'm saying, knocked down? Or is it like you just used to it? Because like y'all dwarves be thick as hell, not niggas. The, the, you already know Cheyenne dwarf. Y'all, you know what I'm saying? The thick dwarf joints, bro. But they be about thick as hell. Fuck wrong with you. What's good, DSG? Just finished my workout. What we on today? Yo, what up in my blunts? You came in at a crazy ass time. I'm not gonna hold you because the shit I was just saying, I know is wild. Ugg said New Grounds is an animation site. Normal animation uh that ha that happened to have porn. Wow. Uh China Dwarf said mostly regular, but all of the old school dwarf uh porn was ugly as fuck. I ain't gonna hold you. I just know at DwarfCon, I'm knocking shit down, bruh. Yo, so yo, so Shiny Dwarf E said she might come, right? And me and her. We're going to walk around. I'm going to be the armor titan and she's going to be the colossal titan or the female titan. And we need at least one or two dwarves to wear ODM gear. And we'll pay for it. Who down to do it? Like, I'm, I'm so serious. Yo, shiny dwarf, we we really try we really try to go at dwarf con and just, I need, I need two dwarves that's willing to wear ODM gear. And then we'll get some real shit made. And we want to take a picture of y'all like, looking like y'all, y'all, y'all going, Shiny Dwarf said she did. How come she ain't hit me up yet? You think she finna hit your little ugly ass up? This nigga said, how come she ain't hit me up yet? Because she ain't, she ain't want to talk to your little ugly ass. Fuck wrong with you, nigga. Now, hey, this nigga Shiny Dwarf thought she was about to hit him up. She ain't finna hit your little ugly ass up. Fuck wrong with you, guys. And, but yeah, nigga, <laughs> nigga hit me up and I'll relate it to her. She ain't want to hit your little ugly ass up, man. Fuck wrong with that nigga, man. I ain't been on Newgrounds since 2009, 2000. I don't even know what Newgrounds is. Now y'all got me wanting to watch it. Hey, but no bullshit. Yo, if anybody do plan on going to DwarfCon with us, though, bro, if we all dress as Titans, Shiny Dwarf, yo, who could Shiny Dwarf be? Because he a little chunky. He got, yo, Shiny Dwarf, if you get skinny, by the time we uh we go to DwarfCon, yo, who could Shiny Dwarf be? I didn't see I didn't see anybody that was fat in a, in a scout's regiment. No, he can't be no Captain Levi, nigga. <laughs> he cannot be no Captain Levi, nigga. Fuck wrong with you. Yo, yo, Cassie, you in there, bro? You in there, bro? Yo, Cassie, hold on. How tall are you, bro? Yo, Cassie, I'm cool with E being taller than me. Cassie, how tall are you? Because you look tall as shit. I ain't going to hold you. You 6'2"? Oh, you got me fucked up. Nigga, I ain't going to be there with you. Fuck wrong with you. This nigga Cassie thought he was gonna be the next. Nigga got me fucked up. Nigga, I gotta wear some platform. Nigga, I'ma wear the Osley Brothers shoes. Nigga, the heels. Fuck wrong with this nigga. You thought I'm finna just walk around to the ugly ass and you taller than me? Fuck no. Hell no, Cassie got me fucked up. This nigga thought I was finna walk around with him. Hell no, nigga. You know what I'm saying? You gonna be barefoot? Nigga, you still gonna be taller than me? Shit. How tall is he? He is six one without shoes. Cassie is six two without shoes. Y'all got me fucked up. Nigga, I gotta wear my shoes to be 6'2. And then you still gonna be taller than me because you're gonna have to wear slides or something. That, that's all you're gonna need is a little bit right there. You're still gonna be taller than me. Fuck you. You know what I'm saying? You and E, I ain't finna walk around y'all too. Because then I'm gonna have to be the cart titan. I wanna be the armor titan. You know what I'm saying? I wanna be the armor titan. Nah, the thing is, I could be the armor titan. You the colossal, she the female titan. All right, we good then. 
That's what we gotta do. I'm gonna be the armor titan. Uh, you gonna be the you gonna be the motherfucking uh, colossal titan. The E. She could be the female titan. Rebel said, "Be the nigga titan." Yo, bro, we tripping. We gotta get back to the video. See, this is why DSG reactions be taking forever about letting go of porn than maybe not drinking is you know you can empty your house of alcohol you can order a different drink when you go to the bar but with porn you literally have so many fucking categories you can watch let me go ahead and stop you right there what the hell are you talking about bro i don't know where you was going with it but let me go ahead and tell you the truth real quick my nigga there's so many goddamn categories to watch it don't make sense bro i remember was when i was on like the 600 page on X videos. That's when I really realized, yeah, my nigga, you kind of got a problem. You know what I'm saying? Cause like I didn't even search anything. I just said, "Fuck it, I'm gonna find something." I was at like page 600, and I was like, "God damn, bro, all right, you doing a little much." You know what I'm saying, "How you make it here?" Like, cause I was like, "Deborah Cox is how we even get here." Like, I didn't even know how I got there. It's like, "God damn, bro," but it was like I was just searching for a perfect video, and it was just nothing that I could find. And I didn't want to look up certain categories because I look up all of the same shit. Ebony, Latinas, uh, big booty Latinas, big booty Ebony, uh, uh, Pog, big booty white girls, uh, BBC white girl, uh, interracial, uh, yeah, BBC interracial, you know what I'm saying, uh, BBC with mature BBWs, shit like that, it is what it is, nigga, yeah, this day at KO will say, BBC, question mark, yes, nigga, because I need a dick that kind of look like mine, no homo, nigga, when I'm watching the porn, like I said, y'all niggas just like to lie about it, KO, y'all niggas always want to sit there, but I don't watch porn for the dick, so why you looking for the perfect dick, y'all niggas love lying about it, bro, that's exactly what y'all niggas do, you mean to tell me you gonna go over there and be like, you know how I many porno videos you watch before and you start looking at the video, man, this ain't doing it. But it wasn't the pussy that wasn't doing it. It was the dick that wasn't doing it. And you know that. But y'all niggas just like lied about it. I don't lie about it. I'm going to tell you the God honest truth, nigga. Yeah, bro, y'all niggas know damn well when you watch the porn, you looking for a certain dick. You ain't looking like, yo, how many veins the nigga got in this shit or if it's girthy or shit. But you just sitting there looking, you like, all right, yo, I ain't going to hold you. That, that just ain't enough for me. And it's not like you saying a dick ain't enough for you, but you kind of saying that. You feel me? So yeah, y'all niggas just like lying. Y'all, this nigga Grizzly Fanatic said I came at the perfect time. <laughs> I hate this nigga, bro. I'm trying to be sick. Dog, chill, nigga. Chill, bro. Really, my nigga? Dead ass, bro. How the fuck did he get here at that time? Basically a liquor cabinet in your pocket at all times, right? What the hell? Yo, bro, do I got to rewind it? What the fuck is he talking about? Yo, dog, all right, that just threw me off. That just threw me off. What the fuck is he? What the fuck? Yo, because I done played pocket pool plenty of times, but I never thought I had a liquor cabinet in my pocket. The the menu of pornographic content that you can consume is at your disposal all the time. But that's not the one thing that I want to talk about. The one thing that I want to talk about that I haven't what seen anybody about, else address, Let's and I'm it. going to be talking about this more in the coming weeks and months, uh -huh. is that in the coming. porn is and creates a pseudo-attachment. Uh -huh. So porn creates a pseudo relationship. So you, if you're in a relationship, if you're married, you can kind of think of it as this sort of like mistress that you go to once in a while. Okay, never. Bro, I never thought about it like that. I just hated my ex. That's why I was watching porn when she was here because I was like, I didn't want to cheat on her until I started cheating on her. Like, and then it was nothing. It was no porn to watch. I didn't need to watch porn. I was only watching porn because I was trying not to cheat on her. So a couple things about it. I never saw it as a mistress. I was just like, yo, I fucking hate this bitch. I don't want to fuck her. So let me go ahead and watch porn. And, and this is um, based off of the work of a gentleman named Dewey Freeman. Dewey Freeman has been doing behavioral psychology, gestalt therapy, equine therapy for about 40 or 50 years. He's got 90,000 clinical hours under his belt. He also happens to be my friend and colleague and mentor. Um, and he has done extensive, extensive work and research in the field of attachment. He's actually built his own attachment model, which we'll be talking about in the future. But attachment is the foundation of our relationships. So here's the simple thing that I want you to know, and I'm going to break down when it comes to why porn is so addictive and why it can be so hard to quit. If you don't have a deep sense of security or trust within your primary relationships with your girlfriend or wife or, you know, your your significant other or your... All right, this nigga taking it a little... Like, bro, my nigga, do you not realize who you're talking to? You're talking to porn addicts. Most of these niggas do not have girlfriends. Where is he getting this from? Bro, does he really think that is most is 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 so many dudes just in a relationship? My nigga, why don't you talk about the single motherfuckers that never got pussy in their lives? What are you talking about? 
You need to focus on them. The niggas who never got pussy in their lives because they, they don't care because they get their dopamine hit from porn. You keep talking about niggas with girlfriends. What the fuck? Friends or your family. This when those really things seem like they're a little unstable, a little untrustworthy, or lacking in security in some way, shape, or form, what we'll do is cope with that by creating these pseudo relationships with objects, substances, or behaviors, right? Objects. I'll give them like, uh, you know, cars. Or him. yo, I, I, nobody fucking a car besides that one nigga on my strange addiction. Calm your ass down, bro. God damn, bro. You kind of look like the nigga too. If I'm, if I, if I think about it, but God damn, nigga, calm your ass down, bro. I ain't fucking no goddamn car. Material items, behaviors, in terms. Of I okay, material items. I did, I did buy the forty pounds of ass. All right, so I do, I, I understand that. But that forty pounds of ass, it was just like, bro, that's forty pounds of ass. Dog, it is what it is, bro. Like, niggas, niggas, niggas gonna sit there and try to fake like they wouldn't. Yes, bro, it was 40 pounds of ass. Yo, dog, it was real shit, bro. I was over there slapping that joint up. I was treating it like it was a real bitch. I was over there trying to get the bitch to say my name and everything. I feel like he's talking to women instead of men. A lot of men just want the dopamine hit or to release their horniness. The pseudo relationships is taking it on that level of neons and on levans. I mean, I had a pseudo relationship with that 40 pounds of ass. I'm not going to hold y'all. Y'all remember when I told y'all? See, Black Ninja know. Hey, bro, real shit. I told y'all niggas about the 40 pounds of ass. Yo, I took a picture with it. It's probably still on my old Twitter account. I took a picture with it. It was what it was, nigga. Bro, who's passing up on 40 pounds of ass? Real or not? Who's passing up on that? That's what I'm saying. I was just like, yo, fuck it. Literally. You know what I'm saying? Shit. Literally. Like, nigga, what the fuck? It, it, was, it was 40 pounds of nothing but ass. NBA, like, nigga, I had to do it, bro. Fuck is wrong with y'all, man? 40 pounds of straight ass. In terms of, like, you know, watching porn, which can become very ritualistic in nature, and substances. Ritualistic. Yo, that's crazy. If you reach a point of watching porn, like, ritualistic, like, Lee, god damn, bro. Imagine you have a ritual of watching porn. Like, no bullshit. Some niggas, they probably do, though. Some niggas probably light candles and shit. Some niggas probably meditate, you know what I'm saying, and prepare themselves to watch porn. Like, with me, it was never a ritual. It was just like, yo, nobody at the crib, I bet. Let me go out and throw the shit on real quick, either on the phone or computer, laptop, or something like that. You feel me? And then when I got over there, you know what's crazy? I was knocking shit down over there in Italy and still was watching porn. I don't know what the I don't even know why. I watch porn over there in Italy. I ain't watch it that much at all. Like when I be when I'm telling you probably like once a week, if that, but like it was like I still watch porn right now. But I was I was knocking shit down. It was like I had a girlfriend and everything, but when I was in my room and I'm chilling. You know what I'm saying? It was what it was. It was like, yo, I might have to get my shit off and she at work. So hey, I'm gonna find something that works. Which again, porn, booze, weed, etc. So we will create these pseudo relationships, these pseudo attachments to fill in the gaps that we feel like are lacking in our primary relationships. Yo, what up, K-Crush? I'm glad you're here, my nigga. So you build a relationship with pornography. You That's crazy. That just sounds crazy hearing that. I've, I, don't, I don't think I had a relationship with porn. It was just like, yo, I'm gonna watch the motherfucker. That's about it. And I'm, you know, like a relationship is crazy. Build a relationship with porno pornography. What do I mean by that? Well, if you're somebody that's watching porn, paying for cam girls, maybe you subscribe to OnlyFans, and you have this kind of pseudo relationship, there's this pseudo exchange. There's an energetic exchange. There might be a financial exchange. When you reach that point, you are in way too deep. Cause like no bullshit, we've seen um, dudes get into that uh, rabbit hole, the OnlyFans rabbit hole, and one dude ended up off in his own parents because he kept wanting to pay an OnlyFans girl. Um, there's an exchange of time. There's an exchange of you know emotional exchange sometimes, and so for a lot of guys, the real reason that it becomes very challenging to let go of porn and the real reason why it's so sort of addictive in the first place and can catch us you know using it more often than we want is because it's providing something that we're wanting out of a relationship but don't feel like we can get in our primary relationships whether that's energy, emotional conversation with our friends, whether that's a certain sexual uh, experience with your partner. What will happen is, again, if we feel like, oh, my friendships, 
in my, my relationship with my girlfriend and my wife, I can't seem to get the things that I want from them. We'll go and look for it in other places. I feel like that may happen with a lot of people, but you like that is when you are uh, deeply addicted, when you're heavily addicted, because it's like, you know, you should be able to talk to your partner about certain things that you want. And I would expect for you to be with someone who is uh, open minded enough to be accepting of what you want as far as like at least accepting enough to hear it. If they don't necessarily agree with it. All right. But at least be able to communicate that. And what will happen is, is that we'll start to form this pseudo attachment, this pseudo relationship with pornography, with uh, a a cam girl, with an OnlyFans girl. And this is why when you look at something like OnlyFans, the most popular OnlyFans, whatever label you want to put on them, but the most popular OnlyFans women that are out there, they're maybe not the most attractive. They're maybe not the, you know, the the most attractive women that are doing the sort of most scandalous sexual things. A lot of them are like the girl next door. You know, they... I would say this, right? From what I've seen and uh, from what I even know, because I know some girls who do OnlyFans, some of the most popular ones are just ones who actually treat men like they have some type of relationship with them. And that's how they get those men to keep spending money. Like, these niggas be on some really weird shit. And they be paying, like, the girls usually pay somebody else to answer their messages. But that's what gets them the popularity. The fact that men think that they're talking to someone that's real, that actually cares for them or cares about them. And uh, they're, uh, you know what I'm saying, Uh, whatever it is that they, you know what I'm saying, like, uh, they're fetishes, things like that. They are providing a kind of, yes, sexual experience, but they're providing almost like a girlfriend experience, right? The GF. Exactly what I just said. Yes, the girlfriend. They, they make them feel like you're important. And I know some girls that they hate the dudes that are subscribed to them. But at the end of the day, they just have somebody else answering their messages so they don't have to deal with them because they genuinely hate them. If y'all talk to OnlyFans girls, you would understand how many of them hate men. And it's because of all of the weird request, the weird requests. Like I told you, that one girl got on a uh, on a on the Twitter space that one day, telling her, telling us how uh, the dude paid for her to go get Chipotle and come back and shit it out and send them a video of it. And it was like, <laughs> like, <laughs> what the fuck, yo? They're uh, doing that because hell, for a lot of men, they're lonely in their life, the and they're using pornography as a means of feeling and creating Crazy. some type of relational connection. So the real reason why it's hard to let go of porn is that you've created an attachment to it. You've created a relationship with it. Whether okay, hold on. you know that or not, right? Even if you never use cam girls and only fan. He's not lying. Some people have a routine. So they've, they've incorporated porn into their routine. And like I told y'all, Look, if you beat your dick every now and then, it's not an issue. If you watch porn every now and then, it's not an issue. It's become it, it's 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 an issue when it becomes a detriment to your life, when it has an impact on your life. Like I said, there's some dudes out there who make it a routine. They say to themselves, "Okay, I got work, and then I have this amount of time to beat my dick, so I'm gonna work, shower, beat my dick, sleep." That's their routine. That's when it becomes an issue and that kind of stuff and you're just watching pornography notice that you probably go back shuju joba said uh i have a relationship with certain videos but not pornography as a whole so like okay so when you say you have a relationship with that is it because you're not getting that stimulation outside of porn oh he said there's a relationship with his bookmarks i thought you were serious and watch a very similar kind of pornography on a regular basis. And maybe that goes through phases. Hey, something about Miles. Bro, I used to jerk off like crazy, but I had to chill because they're, uh, cause my, they're only. You see what I'm saying? Like, yo, bro, and y'all let's say I'm an L reader because my, they're only so much. I don't even know what the fuck that means because uh, my, they're only. But he said so much crackhead porn out there. Um, I can't use up all the supply like that. I don't, I don't even know what. what the heck. Right. You might watch one type of porn for a few months and another type of porn for a few months. But for most guys, their return. A few months. A few months. Bro, I'm. Look, what? Bro, I'm, I'm watching it. What? what? I'm, I'm, I change it up. Like, I'm, like, what? When I was watching porn, I was changing it up almost like every day. Every time I'm beating my dick. 
It's going to be something different. If I beat my dick to fat ass white girls earlier, I'm going to beat my dick to big booty Latinas and then big booty Ebony. The fuck? The only thing that ain't changing is the BBC. No homo. Because I got a black dick. So I got to imagine that's me. But yeah, what the fuck? What the fuck? Turning to a similar style of pornography for an extended period of time, for a repeated period of time. Why is that? Well, there's a number of reasons. One, it can be what's going on within you. Psycho- nah, Debo, see what I'm saying? Debo said, nah, I like them BBWs. I'm not going to hold you. Them BBWs be getting tossed. Nigga, the fuck is you talking about? Why you think I tell y'all all the time, bro? Them BBWs got that box, nigga. That should be preheated and everything. Go watch some BBW porn. Don't go, don't go out there watching porn. But if you do, if you watch BBW porn, that pussy always be wet. You know what I'm saying? But then you watch the uh, them other joints, bro, the regular girls and shit like that. Them, man, be about dry hell. But yeah, them BBWs, I'm trying to tell you. Logically. And then the mature BBWs, fuck wrong with you. In your life, you know, depending on what you're experiencing what? emotionally. Fuck wrong with y'all, man. Have you seen the journalism on high-ranked people in the Hub Corporation? It's disgusting. I haven't. Demir whisper it to me. But two, it's that you feel some type of attachment and connection to that specific style Dude, of. Like John Cola said, I shot ropes to prom Sarah J. You not lying. It is what it is, my nigga. Yo, dog, Sarah J done got me through some hard ass times. Literally, figuratively, metaphorically speaking. Porn. And so what we have to do in a very simple way, and I'm I'm condensing all of this <laughs> to make this very sort of uh, uh, quick and direct, but what we have to do is one, we have to start to look at what's the relationship that you've built with porn? What's the relationship you've built with it? Is it something that you use to console you when you're stressed out or overwhelmed or lonely or bored or angry? Is My it- nigga, you didn't even say the most important one. Niggas do it when they're horny. What you was scared to say it? How you say lonely, bored, all this other extra shit? Niggas, niggas is horny. <laughs> the fuck is he talking about? Niggas be horny. My nigga, you missed the most important emotion. Horny. The fuck is he talking about? That's basically it. Niggas be horny. The fuck? Yo, bruh, my dick won't go down. I bet I'm about to beat this motherfucker. It's something that you use when maybe your partner doesn't want to be sexually active. Maybe when you're active. horny. Just say horny, my nigga. What the- Is it something that you use when you kind of feel just alone and you're not really too sure how to... Nigga, when I, it's no such thing as feeling alone. I know I'm alone, so that's why I'm beating my dick get yourself to feel better. So one is to get to understand what is your relationship to it and when are you using it? And then secondly, we have to insert other relationships into the... I ain't know where bro was going when he said uh, insert. So instead of turning to porn, when you feel lonely, when you feel bored, when you feel angry, when you're anxious, when you're overwhelmed, Having other tools to move towards can be good, right? Breathwork, meditation, all the stuff that everybody on the internet talks about. But the big... Breathwork and meditation. My nigga, if I'm sitting there meditating and my phone is still next to me and I have access to porn, I might have to, you know what I'm saying, take a little breather and beat my dick. Like, bro, no. Nigga, get outside. Go somewhere where you cannot beat your dick. Don't start meditating. Yo, my nigga, you mean to tell me if I had porn in front of me right now and I start meditating, mm, I can't just just turn my phone right back on and start beating my dick? Yo, my nigga, go, some, go outside. Touch grass. Go into a public area. A, a, a public area that's crowded. Well, you can't beat your dick. Peace is being able to turn to a meaningful depth oriented relationship being able to bring this nigga uzumaki drips that he about to look a meditation porn you see what i'm saying that energy and the, the, the tension that you would normally be bringing to pornography into some type of a relationship and that doesn't have to be sexual right it might be that you're just feeling lonely and you need to go hang out with one of your buddies it might be that you're just feeling anxious and you need to call up a buddy and say like listen man i'm i'm just stressed out i'm overwhelmed i'm i'm not there's never a time where i thought yo i'm stressed out i'm overwhelmed and instead of beating my dick i'd rather call him a man to talk to or be around Never, like, never, there's never been one time in my life ever where I thought that. Well, I thought that was the better alternative than to beat my dick. The fuck?
around. Do you have a couple minutes to just talk about what's going on in my life? Right. It can be that simple. So like instead of turning to this pseudo relationship, this pseudo attachment that like not ever. I don't know if I should send it to you because the things that were said might get you banned. Pretty sure they will get you banned, honestly. It's disgusting. So then don't send it to me. You know that's all you had to do was just not send it to me? I felt like you just felt like you, you just felt the dire need to say that, but all you had to do was not say Bro, when I tell you I forgot already, my nigga, I had, like, bro, even me, like, reading that, I had to remember what the fuck you even said. Bro, I better forgot. The moment I even told you to send it, I forgot. I don't even know what the fuck you were supposed to send me. I don't know, are you trying to send me some porn links or something? I have no fucking clue what you're supposed to send, bro. That you've built with pornography, you begin to slowly uh, reestablish and reinforce the healthy relationships that you have in your life, and you start to rely on them more. You start to build out. 18 on Black Mouth said the amount of porn on the internet is actually crazy because why am I up at 3 a.m. watching BBWs from 1987 get railed by BBC? It's sick because I know uh, that it probably smelled crazy in there. You up at three in the morning? Like, bro, no bullshit. I don't wait. Like, bro, there's never a time in my life where I woke up in the middle of the night and chose to watch porn. If it came on on Cinemax or like, you know what I'm saying, HBO. You remember they had the uh, porn utopia shit? Real sex. Taxi cab confessions, porn utopia. When it was that shit, then yeah. But like, other than that, it was never a time where I woke up and was like, yeah, I got to watch some porn. I only woke up, you know what I'm saying, and watched it when it was on one of those, you know what I'm saying? You feel me? More robust relationships with the people that are in your life, your partner, you know, girlfriend, wife, et cetera, your, your buddy. Facts. Yo, Gaines Productions, facts. The, uh, the cat house. It's your friends, your family members, your you know, people in your community. And as you start to do that, as you start to have more meaningful relationships with those people in your life that are safe, that are secure, that are trustworthy, you what you'll find is that less and less you will need pornography and more and more it will be easier to let go of porn. So it's not just about dopamine detoxing. It's not just about, you know, uh, filling in the habit of watching porn with a different habit. It's also about, and this is the most important piece in my opinion, reorienting your behavior patterns towards relationship. D Yo, DSG, I want everybody to read this, right? Yo, look, DSG, you know what I'm saying? Just got here. I want y'all to read the pinned comment. I want everybody here to read the pinned comment right now. This thing and come in here and watch us not watching the Super Bowl and say, and says, are you watching the Super Bowl? Nigga come in here, we ain't talking about nothing but porn. And nigga come in here talking about some, y'all watching the Super Bowl? I should ban you. Towards people that are in your life because you have a relationship with porn, it plays a role in your life and it is oftentimes there for you when you need someone to talk to right to tell about what you're you know how you're stressed out to uh talk to in terms of feeling overwhelmed by something you might be dealing with in your relationship or your business or your finances right so starting to reorient away from the relationship to porn that pseudo attachment and towards your relationship with people that are in your life and look there's many you might be thinking well i'm not in a relationship i don't have a lot of you know men in my life i can go and talk to like that what I would say is go find a men's group, right? We have hundreds and hundreds of men that are in the Man Talks Alliance that have done this work. Um, Did this thing just... Did this thing just say the Man Talks Alliance? This nigga want me to go talk to a whole group of niggas about porn? If I was addicted to it? All, these, all we gonna be doing is sharing different categories. That's it. Do you really think I want to go talk to a group of niggas that are suffering from the same shit as me so we can try to figure out different shit to watch? Do you not realize that's the only thing that's going to go on this conversation? Yo, my nigga, you ever seen that one joint on an ex-hamster? 
Nah, bro, but I saw this one joint on uh, X and XX. Yeah, they got that same one on X videos. But look, right, if you um, go on X videos, it got all of the, the shared videos at the bottom and related videos at the bottom. It's like the fourth one down, you know what I'm saying, um, to like the right and shit. That's exactly what's happening. Because what the fuck are you talking? Man, these niggas be serious. I cannot be lit. These niggas be dead ass. Lots of them are in the process of quitting porn right now, or you know they're going on that journey, or they've already been on that journey. And there are hundreds of men's groups that are out there, uh, men's communities where you can have these types of connections. I ain't linking up with a whole group of niggas who is addicted to watching porn. Relationships and transparent and honest conversations. So find one that works for you. Find one that is right for you, and find some. Find a bitch. What the fuck is he talking about? What type of fruit sauce shit did we just hear? Nigga said fruit sauce. Find a bitch. Find a girl. Find a girl that can fulfill all of your fantasies, bro. What the fuck is he talking? You want to find a group of niggas that watch porn too? Instead of just finding a woman that can do all of that shit to you? accountability so that you can build those healthy attachments those healthy relationships instead i'm not trying to form a relationship with a group of niggas that's addicted to porn fuck we about to all go bowling or some shit afterwards fuck out of here because as soon as i'm done we're gonna be talking about porn the whole time and i'm gonna go home and beat my dick fuck wrong with this nigga man man of needing and depending on because that's really what porn is porn becomes a dependency it's like a codependent relationship you need it in order to feel better so instead of having that codependent dependency with pornography you actually have a healthy structured grounded relationship effects that's what he said none of them getting daffed up facts you think i'm gonna meet up with a group of niggas that's addicted to watching porn and and how you doing nigga whoa chill bro nigga so as a nigga reach saying out sight nigga what is you talking about nigga with another human being so comment below let me know what you thought about this video don't forget to my niggas where's a nigga at when you need one this rainbow ranger talking about a fruit bowl council a fruit bowl council is crazy nah hey bro he actually he, he he made some points though he made some points in the video points were made but it's just like nigga hell do i ain't gonna meet up with a group of niggas that that's all addicted to beating they dicks you know what i'm saying the fuck wrong with this nigga bro you got the game fucked up, man. The shout out to him, though, bro. Aurora, man. The video wasn't bad. There was nothing wrong with the video. But yeah, you got the game fucked up, though, man. Fuck wrong with that nigga, man.